Hey everyone. Um, I know it's been a while since my last video. I've been kind of busy with schoolwork and work work and just life stuff, but I have been making things. But as some of my family and friends have pointed out, there have been no videos recently, so I thought I'd do a little video of something I was working on today. So I just completed another batch of paper. That's what I've got in this stack here, all stacked up between my uh, Pellen sheets, which I've started using. It's part of my coaching process. Um, and so I'm gonna show you the dry box I built to dry my paper. I feel like it just gives it a little flatter surface in the end. Um, and let me show you how I built it. So what I've got here is my paper that I just made. These are some wet cooch sheets that I'm gonna put in my dry box. But the box is pretty much just made of these sheets of cardboard. Mine's not super high tech. There's a lot of better tutorials out there with more equipment, but I just wanted something fast and easy. So what I'm gonna do is grab all my cardboard sheets and I'm gonna stack these with some dry cooch sheets and then my sheets of paper that I just made. Um, last time I did it, I got some texture of the cardboard on my uh, finished sheets. So I'm gonna try layering these sheets of Pellen interfacing in with my dry box as well this time and see if that gives me some better results. So, I usually like to leave a few sheets of cardboard at the bottom just because I don't want things right on the ground. A lot of dry box tutorials will have you put it on like a piece of wood or something, which I might do eventually, but for now, we're just gonna take this. I'm gonna take some of these ones that are a little more warped and have those be my uh, bottom sheets. I'm gonna stack them up in front of my box fan, which is gonna be my air source when I'm drying. So we'll stack that there. And then I'm going to take one of my Pellen sheets, lay it down, and I'm gonna put a dry cooch sheet on top of that. And then I'm gonna peel my finished paper sheet off of the other sheet of Pellen. This is still really wet, so I'm gonna be very careful with it. And line it up on my dry cooch sheet. Hold on and then put another dry sheet on top of it. And then I'll put my sheet of Pellen. And I'm hoping that getting this like thick, uh, what do they call it, non-woven belt or something in there will keep the texture from the cardboard um, from getting into my sheets. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stack another one the same way. Helen, cooch sheet, new paper sheet that I made. Line it up. Okay. Dry sheet, and then the Pellen. And then another sheet of cardboard. And with your cardboard, you wanna make sure that you have it lined up. So the side with the holes in it, I don't know if you can see that real clearly, but that's so the airflow will go through the piece of cardboard. So you wanna make sure that side is facing the fan. All right, so let's get these going. Okay, so there is all of my paper sheets in my dry box, and now I'm gonna put my wet cooch sheets that I used in the paper making process in there as well. Um, I'm gonna layer a couple pieces of cardboard on top just to keep them separated. And actually, I think I'm gonna put these down at the bottom. So we'll just stack them up. Okay, and then I'll put these down at the bottom. So, I'll just slide them in right there. All right. 
And then next, I wanna make sure these are weighted down. So my, so there's like a lot of pressure on the top to get them nice and flat. So what I've been doing is I take my cookie sheet, which I've used in my paper prop making process, I put it on top, and then my very sophisticated system of putting heavy stuff on top of this. So let me go grab my weights. And what I've been using are some old journal issues that I got from the library. If you can't tell, this is like a big time craft supply for me, journals that have been withdrawn. Let's see, I've got a little bit of water still in here. Let me dry that out. And then I just stack them up in here. These fit in here pretty good. I've got a whole pile of them. Okay, and so now it's all weighted down. Looks like it's pretty even. And the last step is, let me get these out of the way. I've got this tarp that I put over the whole thing just to kind of trap the airflow in here, keep the air where I want it instead of distributing all over the garage since the box stands bigger than my dry box. So I just kind of drape it over. But I leave the back open so you know the airflow can go through. And I always do it up against my table legs because the fan will fall over otherwise. Um, kind of tuck it in on all sides. And this is, you know, no real science to it. I'm just pushing it around. All right, and that's it. And now I'll turn my fan on. And then tomorrow, or maybe the next day, hopefully my paper will be nice and flat and dry. So we'll check back in then. Okay, so it's been a couple days since I put my paper into my dry box. Um, I probably left it in longer than I needed to, but I have a ton going on this week. So this kind of got put to the side till I had some time to dedicate to it. So I'm going to open up my box, see what my paper looks like, and hopefully it's looking really good. So first I'm going to turn off my fan. Okay. And pull back the tarp. Whoops. And move the camera. <laughs> Here we go. And then I'll unload my books. Okay, let's see how flat this looks. Well, that's pretty good. As you can see, the cardboard is kind of warped on the edges, but not too bad. Not as bad as it was when I didn't use any uh, interfacing between my sheets. I think that really helped with the water soaking into the cardboard. Now we'll just start unloading and see what we have. So here's our first sheet of paper. Oh yeah, this is really dry, which is good. Okay, and this one's my cooch sheet. Oh, that's nice. Very smooth. Just a slight bit of warping on the edge, maybe from this paper, but not bad kind of a light lavender, which is what I was going for. So that's good, I'm really happy with that. Okay. Yep, all nice and smooth. Got a few little bits that could be picked off. Yeah, another plain one. I've got some with some floral inclusions in here, so let's see if we can find one of those. Ah, look at that color. I bet this is one of them. Uh-huh. So that one, I tried putting some flower petals in it. I think that looks cool. Seems like they're stuck in there pretty good, although I'm not going to pull too hard to try and pull it off. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I like that one. It's kind of blended a little less um, finely. It's got some speckles in it. And I didn't have quite enough pellin to do two for every page, so this one's got doubled up. And there's another floral one. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Another floral. I love this one. This one's got more kind of like little seeds in it. It's kind of interesting. That side's even more interesting. You can see that these floral ones have kind of stained my cooch sheets. I think that'll be okay, but I might use them for ones that have floral in them. In the future, another floral. That yellow flower kind of really bleeds out, but it's cool. I like it. Okay, another floral page. Whoop! Had a uh, gust of wind there. Pardon me. Okay. And I think that's all for our paper, for our newly made paper. And then I'll pull out my cooch sheets, which I put in there to dry. And they all have this uh, cardboard texture on it since I didn't buffer them with the pellin, but I think that's okay. I'll use these for uh, drying my paper fresh off the mold instead of putting them into this uh, dry box. All right, and so it's all unloaded. I'm really happy with the results of this. Um, if I were to take a little more care in stacking up my papers with Helen in between, I think I'd get a nice smooth texture on these, but I don't. I just don't have enough right now. I could buy some more, which I probably will in the future. Um, but so far, I'm really happy with how my dry box is working out. I'll probably continue to tweak it just to see what else I can do with it, but that's what I've got for you today. So experiment, um, have fun, and enjoy your paper making.